This is a video uh, displaying some features of the uh, Clements 70 inch reflector, the largest amateur telescope in the world. So let's start off with our tour. The telescope is stored in, its, in the building, made possible by wonderful, many wonderful people and their generosity, their contributions. Uh, here is the base of the telescope. The telescope sits on a, on a huge custom-built pallet and a modified pallet jack. And here the telescope is sitting in its, uh, in its stowed position. I know it's really difficult to, to get a grasp because all of the, all of the structures, they it sort of blends in with the roof. But anyway, my, my intent here is just to give you sort of a, a, a walk around, a basic walk around with the telescope uh, when it's in the, in the stowed position here. This is the base, or I guess you could say the turntable. This is how the telescope uh, turns side to side or rotates. What, what I'm zooming in on right now are the, uh, are the motor, the motor uh, drives. This is the altitude, that is the up and down motor. Here is the azimuth, that is side to side motor. Uh, this is uh, Sidereal Technologies. Dan Gray designed this wonderful system. There is the controller. That's what makes the whole thing come to life. It's powered by two 12 volt lawnmower batteries housed in an insulated uh, enclosure there. And believe it or not, those tiny motors are capable of driving that is moving this entire approximately 3,500 pound telescope. I'm, I'm scanning up showing you the finder scope configuration. Now realize the telescope is tilted downward so as to fit in the building. When in use, the telescope obviously is rolled out onto the observing pad and the observer locates the objects by sighting through these, these tubes. Well, as the name implies, sight tubes. When the object is close to the, uh, you know, roughly centered, then you zero in on the object with the C8 finder scope. Now I'm going to show you how you look through this thing. Well, again, keep in mind the telescope is in the stowed position. This is the eyepiece. Actually, let me take the cover off so you can see. That's where you look through it, okay? The light bounces, or I should say reflects, from that area there. That's where the primary mirror is. It's, however, closed due to the telescope being, being uh, put away for the season. The light bounces from that mirror to this small, well, yeah, small, 29-inch uh, flat. This is covered. That's, a, that's a, 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 an aluminum foil cover that you see covering the secondary. The light then bounces down to this focusing system. That's pretty much what I want to show you right now. I welcome any and all questions.